Well, audience, Black Panther has been an amazing movie, you know. So you know what? Today, let's take a look at a film that involves an African-American playing a black-clad feline character in a superhero film in... Oh! Yeah. It's the Inch other Marvel. superhero film involving an African-American playing a superhero which was supposed to make money, but I, 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 didn't. And so it's, it's also the other, because it's not one of the X-Men movies. But guys, but guys, but guys. Instead of seeing T'Challa, instead we'll be seeing the woman who portrays his wife, Halle Berry. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, <sighs> this was back. Unfortunately, this was back when the comic book movie genre was still in its dark age. So honestly, yeah. not even just that, because at least we had stuff like Spider-Man the, the, and the, the X-Men film. Say, this was this was the era where there were either great successes or massive failures. Well, and this, this movie, uh, this movie had also a, a trouble development, but we'll say more uh, when we'll get into it. This is 2003. I 2004. Think. Four. Four's Catwoman. What? Based uh, very loosely on the super anti-heroine in the DC <laughs> Comics universe. I don't think I ever have to watch this again. But Shiroi, but Shiroi, Pedro, it's got cats, and you know, cats were Nino Cooney, and Shiroi, you like cats, and hey, Some it's... Some cats are charming. Others not. No. Uh, maybe. I just thought okay, this, uh, no. So, okay, audience, we shall now decide. Is Halle Berry the new Eartha Kit, or is she just... Oh, you know the answer already. Let's just get this started. Start at the Warner Brothers logo in three, two, one, click. Now, yeah, I will try yeah, to... Now, now, despite what this movie put Halle Berry through, I will try to be fair to it still. Now, no, context no, for those who don't right. know, after don't. Batman Returns, uh, essentially, Warner Bros. wanted to make a standalone Catwoman movie with Michelle Pfeiffer replies in the role, supposedly. Uh, but uh, so for some reason, the project got derailed a lot of times until 2004, when uh, they casted Ali Berry and they completely reworked the entire movie into a, a, a gigantic mess. To give an idea, guys, like aside from the name, aside from the name of the of the super of the entire, aside from Catwoman's actual name, Catwoman, nothing is based on the comics. On practically nothing, not even the name of the human counterpart of Catwoman. This is not Selina Kyle. This is someone else completely. Also. It's not set in Gotham. It's not in all major super villains. It's barely a superhero movie at all. So what the fuck happened? Also, 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 just right out of the gate, this was also helped distributed by Village Roadshow Pictures, the same guys who brought us Passengers, and the same guys who would also distribute the Yokai Watch anime in any place but America. Joy. Uh, also, guys, um, you know who I trust to handle a film like this and give a hundred million dollars to to make the film? Who? Mm. The guy whose biggest claim to fame was being a second unit director on Alien Resurrection. Can I start somewhere, Also, I Victorian guess? Catwoman. Yeah, the, the director's okay. The director's real name is Jean Christophe Kumar, but he has but he goes under his pseudonym Petov. So, yeah. yeah so, suppose. Ah! Suppose, the, the movie will explain a bit better later, but supposedly Catwoman in this continuity is a figure that emerges time and time again through the ages to help mankind or some shit like that. I don't know. More on that later, but yeah. This it's looks t like a TV movie. Oh, by the way, Claus Bedelt. Where have I heard that name before for comparisons? Pirates of the Caribbean? Yeah! I mean. Oh, okay, I guess to be fair, the music here is the better thing of the film. All the same, though, poor guy and his agent. The Flying Panther. God, I wish I was watching a panther right now. I know, but yeah, right? it, begs, it begs to be asked, uh, like, considering that at this point he had practically nothing anymore to do with the actual character of Catwoman, why not just making it a superhero movie on its own? And that's sort of the thing. Now, a bit of the history. As Pedro said, I mean, no, as Tio said earlier, this was originally supposed to be a spinoff of the Batman universe. Here's the deal, though. Because of a lot of problems, delays and whatnot, the role kind of got taken from Pfeiffer and it got passed off. In fact, I kid you not, there's a funny story. Oh, One... And also, and also, Jova, oh, no. by this point, oh, the old Batman continuity movie was dead because of that, because of George Schumacher. Oh, no, don't tell me you got the writers of Terminator 3. Oh, that's right, oh, they got those guys no. too. Brilliant. 
Well, this is not the writers of Terminator Salvation, I guess. Okay. The, Pedro, Pedro, the, 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 they're the exact same. Hmm. They wrote Salvation. Oh, wait, wait, this line. Mm. That's a perfect Very sum up for this movie because this movie is going to be done on arrival. So basically, not only did these guys fuck up Catwoman, they fucked up Terminator twice. So. Even Dark Knight Rises got Catwoman better in this movie. Yeah. yeah. And I don't even really I, yeah, like I, that I take on that Catwoman. Commentary. It's, well, it's, it's more of a fact that amongst all their presentation, the one in, in Dark Knight Rises is probably the most accurate. <laughs> Oh, that by the way, why, why is the city CG? Oh, by the way, believe it or not, folks, this has this movie has one of the uh, no. It's not just my opinion; it's regarded officially as one of the worst scenes in a movie. Period. But don't worry, that's near the middle point. Also, I'm agreeing with Doug on this one. Can we stop having movies where the make which literally starts with the main character being late for something? Like Green Lantern also starts with this. So. Oh come on, Tio! I'm sure no other superhero film. Oh wait, Spider Man did that. Well, uh, yeah, Fantastic Four did that, and by that I mean the Roger Corman version. Well, I mean, and oh right, X Men also had a scene, and also, Halle Berry was in that too. Also, Lois, uh, what are you doing here? Yes, this is Alex Bornstein, and yes, this is back Alex when Bornstein. Yes, this is back when Family Guy was still funny. So they got a comedian. If you'll allow me, because ahead, most, of the, most, most of the time she's only known for Lois. She was also Miss Swan back back when Matt TV was still funny. So we have a uh, uh, the cosmetic pharmaceutical company owned by uh, the Merovingian and supposedly his wife Sharon Stone. Sorry, um, who plays the Merovingian? Lambert Wilson. Ah. Look at his nose, Wait, like the seed. <laughs> Jesus, his nose. <laughs> ah, I, I mean, I understand the pinups, but we don't need to be looking creepier. Okay, here's the problem right out of the gate with this movie. Wait for it. The editing. Um, that's also for later, believe Yeah, okay, these two, I'm sure these two totally aren't gonna be villains. Let's see, one of them is a dick, who has a British accent to go with it, and the other is his wife, who's getting replaced as a spokesperson for a model like, magazine. Like, if I, had to be, if I had to be honest, the Catwoman herself doesn't really have a proper rogues gallery. She mostly gets tagged on you in the one of Batman. You wanna know what's sad to you? There's a comic book, I mean, an Elseworld story, where Catwoman is instead Become... Gotham's protector instead yeah, of yeah, Batman and, of it, and so. get this get this get this one of the villains is a female version of Two-Face who used to be a facial cosmetics model and yeah again so yeah and considering how that comic also, stunk not also, exactly the best of two worlds I'm sorry in case you're wondering as we mentioned this is not Selena Kyle this is I forgot the name Patience, Patience. Patience Phillips Patience that, Phillips first alliteration of all, that's a name Second, her character is so quirky in a sense that this is what uh, Hollywood thought the quirky girls were at the end of the 90s, beginning of the 2000s. So basically hippies who didn't know what la how life worked and were supposed parasites of society. Nah. Thanks Hollywood, by the way. Now, a bit of backstory, when they were trying to pick roles for Catwoman, believe it or not, one of the Catwoman weirded out Tim freaking Burton. That was the actress that actually ambushed him while dressed up as Catwoman in something that would actually fit in the real Gotham if it were a real thing. Yeah. And keep in mind, uh, the, to man managing to scare Tim Burton, it takes effort. See, okay, my guess is that she was probably <sighs> taking inspiration from Michelle Pfeiffer, who had come in also as Catwoman for audition. Here's the thing, though. She'd been invited already for the audition. This woman came unannounced and ambushed Tim Burton just to play Catwoman. But by the way, forgot to mention because I will also remind uh, a bit more detail later on. In case you're wondering, this until the supposed uh, resurgence of it's happening uh, even right now at the time of his recording in the comics uh, in the new Fifty Two, the the original Catwoman was re re the original origin story of Catwoman was retconned to be fitting with the one of this movie. Wait, wait, which it is was? very idiot. Yes, Jova, trust me. 
It was. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Many, hold on. Many, I, I... many re very stupid things that the New 52 stories did. Really? The New also, 52 did the whole. Lives... Well, also, yeah. she lives in the same apartment of that girl for maybe rain. I know, right? Wait, so you're telling me that New 52's origin for Catwoman was the same? It's like, I thought I read Catwoman Zero and I don't recall you know what happening. We'll get to that eventually. Also, she's too timid and can't really speak up to them to turn it down. You know, just gonna say this. Kitties! Okay, okay yeah. Obviously taking a cue from Spider-Man 2002 to set up contrast for later. Here's the problem, mm. though. At least in Spider-Man 2002, yeah, we saw a bit of Peter before he got his spider powers, but... Let's just say here, they want you to know she's a different person when she gets her powers. This isn't like what with Peter... It was enough to the point where it didn't feel overbearing. I'll just you say that's not the chosen. case here. Pretty, oh, Shira, trust me, you, you have no idea how the weight of those words are. Well, the sad thing is, like, well, the origin for how she becomes Catwoman is actually one yeah, of the few now, things that. Patience that's... is about oh. to do something really stupid on her own. Now, Shira. Yeah, people don't own cats. Cats own, own people. them. Now, yes. Shira, you love cats. <laughs> now, if Valentine were to do this, would you do what Halle Berry is about to do? And by that, I mean walk out on a windowsill without any guards With whatsoever. No protection, you know. Well, first stop, Val was too lazy to do anything like this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's assume she actually was. Okay, if she actually did this, then, you know, that's not something I'd be too concerned about because, one, she's a cat. Exactly. She'd probably get down. And two, if she couldn't, you know, just call someone. Also, she, Holly Berry is doing, yeah. she is doing this barefoot on an obvious broken refrigerator, conditionator, whatever it is. Maybe oh, she's going to be the protagonist of a New they, Year's Eve. You want to inform us of this guy? Might as well. The, oh, wait, uh, this guy. The cop. Yeah. Miss Barry, please don't jump! I know you saw the reviews of the movie. It's okay. We'll get through this. Imagine that, though. They think that she's going to jump because she wants to commit suicide. And it's like, no, no, I'm just trying to get the cat. Yeah. So, the, actor, <laughs> the, actor playing, the actor playing the cop is uh, Benjamin Bratt. He's been in quite a few films that the group has seen, including uh, Red Planet, <clears throat> uh, this film, <laughs> um, and, and some others that we haven't seen yet, such as Claudia of a Chance of Meatballs, uh, its sequel, Ooh. Ride Along 2. Uh, he, was doc he was in Doctor Strange. Okay, that, he was way too fast to get there in time. So, yeah, what is he? The uh, Flash's cousin? Oh, oh, and he was in 24 Live Another Day. That, that's where I've seen him also. Okay, okay, okay. So this guy was also in Doctor Strange. Like, okay, what is it with actors from these bad superhero movies getting to be blessed with the MCU? That's it's like the purging machine. Oh, well, I, just, I, just, I just wish it was in a better movie than Doctor Strange, but whatever. Anyway, um... So, yeah, um, immediately now, we're getting into this scene. Oh, great, she's late again. I know I just nearly fell from a windowsill, also, but I'm late patience, and... that guy is a cop. Uh, if we hadn't had enough, uh, pardon the, the, the wordplay, patience, uh, he would have arrested you for assaulting on a public, official public, whatever it's called. Now, to this movie's credit, this is actually in line with how Selena Kyle was in Batman Returns. Problem is, is, this is one that, of the few well, things that actually takes from Batman story Returns. Of Catwoman, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I guess. I my guess is is that my guess is is that the issue really isn't that they're they're doing something different from the comics. Issue is, is mm. the story they're going for is. Um... Uh, no, no, well, Dwibs. I even... wonder what the motivation of the villain may be, Jova. Tio, Are you sure she's gonna be the villain? I mean, I know that this tends to be the murder plot in a lot of murder mysteries involving this stuff. But come on, also... it's Sharon Stone. You can trust her, also, right? Shigeri, I know what you're thinking. Why the hell Sharon Stone looks like a cocaine addict in this movie? <laughs> There's... Supposedly, uh... there is an actual reason. Now, okay. That's also another uh, thing. You waste a ten, like star power for Sharon Stone for a role like this. So you that's criminal. Go oh, sorry, Jova, go ahead. Anyway, to address your concern, this actually was not a comic book thing because think of this story as sort of an a mini adaptation of Batman Returns, in that basically, okay, regarding how Catwoman becomes Catwoman, that's actually taken from the Batman Returns version. In fact, even her being a workaholic, working for a dick, although Christopher Walken was a better dick boss, I'm gonna say. <laughs> but all the same, still, my point being is like, well, yeah, this is... 
This is in line with how Catwoman became Catwoman. Problem is, that is the only thing it really takes from Batman Returns. It's just uh, that. Also, right. yeah, okay. since it's the early 2000s, we need to have the quirky gay co-worker, which is was that Was that Lin Manuel Miranda? No, it's not. Never mind. Oh. oh, this bit. Uh... <laughs> and uh, scene, please. And uh... oh, Alex, she's trying, but even she can't make that funny. Yeah, I mean, and you know what? To her credit, the way Lois is in the Family Guys of Now is not her fault. It's the writers. Yeah, yeah, and, and it's exactly, and it's exactly the same here. I take it. Yeah. Oops, dropped her wallet. Now, you're probably thinking, Shuri, wouldn't this have been better to just to handle this all in her apartment? Okay, can we stop with this? <sighs> Dear God, even the, I think even the small talk in Jaws 4 was more endearing. At least it had Michael Caine. I bet we constantly need to cut away to the co-workers, both of them, yes, because, you know, we have the quirky gay character. You're not uh, the office! You These characters aren't gonna matter much. Also, what what was the idea of turning Catwoman's origin into a sitcom? This is a sitcom, guys. Look at this. Uh, yeah, I mean, hey, you got comedians here. Oh, right, that's right, we're setting up this romance. <laughs> Which we shouldn't need, it's like, but it's like whatever. I said, it's, it's like I said earlier, times this feels like a TV movie. I'm just gonna ask this. It's Catwoman. Why? Okay, okay, okay. I can get maybe having her be separate of Batman, but why have it take place in a universe that's not the DC universe? Like, I mean... Again, Jova, at this point you should just make it your own... So you could call it Puma Woman while you're at it. it I know, be the right? Same. Like... And you wouldn't I... destroy a character from the DC comics. So... <sighs> Cut with the, with the <laughs> dress on. Yes. Yeah. Well, no, 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 Tio. It's a leather outfit she's never going to wear. She will All never, right, ever, so ever, 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 Press the fast forward <sighs> button. I think I just I felt like I was fast forwarded there. What was even the point of that? No idea at all. I mean, you know, just cut ahead to this. Again, like Tio said, that's sitcom stuff. This feels more like it was oh. supposed to be the pilot of a but, TV yeah, series that got reconverted. You mean the like contact the... can't take it there, so... Oh god, this thing CGI. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Now, again, this is like in Batman Returns, where, you know, Michelle Pfeiffer, aka Selena Kyle, has to go to the office because she forgot something, and because she's the ever so dust dang hard worker for her cold boss. Again, one of the few things I actually took from the original source material, like... Okay, you know, I get it, I get it, you know. This was supposed to be different, except, well, okay, what was the original idea with the spinoff anyway? Like, I'm guessing it was supposed to still be Pfeiffer's character, just in a different setting? Probably. Why not just go over to that car and ask that guy to open the door for you? And you know that what? That would be required action. Oh, oh this, this, this scene -y. Yeah, yeah, just listen. What? What? Like, <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> Stop! Suroi, okay, starting to notice good. another problem aside from how stupid it is that we have cosmetics that can now damage the face. The editing is uh, atrocious. Okay, 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 okay. Let, let me let me explain yeah. this now. Uh, Pitov, editing is meant to cut from one scene to another scene. Ah! Not the same scene, you idiots. Oi. Yeah. And and trust me, and trust me, trust me. Wait for the absolute worst film scene. I mean. Trust me, the yeah. act, the, what, acti the one we just saw. No, the basketball one. That is the worst scene in this movie, and that's considered one of the worst filming scenes in all of film, film history. It was poorly shot. <laughs> that's putting it lightly. Well, that well, I thought that bit there was poorly done because it's Let's only see. I, I, I can't even call it incompetent because that's implied that the guy had an idea of what he wanted to do. Why? 
So let's see. We have a facility that any random oh. employee can just work in. What an idiot. So of course, this is the perfect place to discuss something top secret like this. Also, of course the cosmetics company has hitmen and bodyguards for facial and cosmetics. That's procedural, man. That's serious business. And this is another problem here, because, believe it or not, folks, this is the closest we get to a superhero element outside of everything having to do with Catwoman. And when it's involving Catwoman, that's a whole other problem in and of itself. But, oh, you know... Another thing about the, about the production of this movie. Yeah. This was Petov's first English language film. <laughs> and, of oh. course, they just... Uh, why Pete would... don't speak Petov don't speak English, so um oh. when he tried to direct the actors, it well He shows up. Wow. When he tried to direct These anything really. are very uh, weird. Well again it helps I think it helped in the the the, 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 the DP, the director of photography. I can focus on French. anything in these scenes. Or... So let me the DP get... was French also, I guess that explains why the camera can actually move. So let me get this straight. We have a yeah. guy who was a, a guy we have a guy who didn't really have much directing experience. He couldn't even speak English, which you know pretty much all the cast here speak. So again, what was the logic? Like, okay, you know what? I mean look, at least nowadays whenever Warner Brothers gets a director for one of their films, it's usually a director that makes some semblance oh, of sense or can at least right, speak the language. Like, seriously, Theo, were French directors just a big deal at the time? No idea, Jova. Oh, by the way, here's a fitting Foreign metaphor. Foreign directors, absolutely. Remember, also Tarsim. Oh, yeah, anyway, by the way, pay attention because, uh, again, this is part of the origin story. Hold on. And admittedly, in Batman Returns, there was also a sewer, although that had more to do with the well, penguin. Well, she was dropped from the window, though. But here, she's... Okay. I kid you not. Just wait and see. Yeah. Also, this is Chamber of Secrets, but done crappily, yeah. you schmucks. From the same studio, nonetheless. Oh, what? shit. Why would you have a sewer main that is that high yeah, up? Yeah, and not even kidding, this kills her. Oh, basically, let me recount for you, Shiroi. Catwoman has been flushed down the sewage. Brilliant. And this is a crap movie, so... Yeah. Crap's an understatement. She gets killed by sewage, even though... Okay, look. You know, in the Batman Returns, she, she actually hit the pavement, so it made sense to think yeah. she's dead. Here, and look, I know that hitting the water at a certain level is uh, bad. Especially water oh, that, you know, disgusting boy. and infected. Oh, she already pre prepared cat. for CGI cats. Uh, tons of them. Okay, here's another thing. By the way, the budget, the budget of this film, was, <laughs> the budget of this film was a hundred million dollars. Two million. Yeah, so. they couldn't even get the cats. Like, to... oh, sure, sure, sure. You think that cat's bad? Wait till war come. Also, yeah, in Batman Returns, it was also implied, but essentially, she just magically got revived by the fact that some cat just passed on to her. So there was some kind of mysticality, but not it much. It was more realistic in the sense that you yeah. could assume that the cats just did some accidental CPR by crawling all over her. Uh, here, though, here. just oh. watch. Also, Tio gonna ask, so how did the comic book version do it? Like, did it also have the mystical element? I don't remember the details, I just know it was... Uh... Pretty much this, she got revived by cats. So. Well, okay, okay, okay. If it was done more in the sense that Batman Returns Remember, did it... Remember, the, or the original Silver Age story post-crisis was ju her just simply becoming like Batman, like uh, assuming an identity, and that was it. I mean, you know, okay, when it comes to how Batman Returns did it... I I'm, so I'm sorry, Peter, but no matter what score you use, this scene is not epic in the slightest. See, okay, 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 part of the reason I was okay with how Batman Returns did it, because it also mixed in her being inspired by Batman, because Batman had rescued her prior, so it made sense that, you know, not only would she be cat-like, oh, but she'd also develop an alter <laughs> ego, and, oh, God. <laughs> you know, I like to imagine... I like to imagine... Wait, wait. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, yeah. The cat's breathing life into it. A CGI <laughs> breath for a CGI cat. Now fans of Social Network Ooh. and whatever else has CGI cats Avatar. will be pleased. <laughs> I'll CGI breath during Social Network. Well, that's why I said. CGI breath from a CGI cat. And these magically revives her. And oh. this is the moment... 
the look on their face and is like now, they very realize what crap she And is. now all, all the cats are gone, mysteriously. Ooh. The smell will corrupt, and it's like, you never want your pets breathing on you because it... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and now she has ultra-sensitive sight and hearing. Uh, ah, this editing... You know, guys, it, you know, guys, it's possible to get close-up footage of a seagull without needing a CGI seagull, you know. Yeah. Fly high, lesbian seagull. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Vivi's in Bata, Shiroi. She knows, I've already shown her. Oh, okay. Seen the movie. Okay, okay. Get it, guys? She's a cat. She was walking on all fours for a second. There. Fun fact! Also, these camera angles is putrid. Fun fact, actually. Part of the reason Halle Berry accepted this role was because at the time, she wasn't gravitating towards her role as Storm. In that, like, well, okay, here's the deal. Storm in the first X-Men movie had some pretty weak lines, and, well, Halle Berry wasn't really feeling the character that much. It wasn't until the later X-Men films where they actually draw it on, you know... So she chose to be in this film. Oh, well, I've actually got a funny. Um, that's part of the story. Also, barefoot again. See, here's the deal, though. It wouldn't be until, like, X-Men 2 and especially X-Men 3 that, you know, the movies would actually remember, hey, Storm's a co-leader of the X-Men. Maybe we should actually treat her properly. So at the time, this role was kind of Halle Berry wanting to have a go at a more fun superhero at the time. Oh, the irony. You need a shower, sweetie. Just poor Halle Berry. Like, and okay, yeah. She accepted the role and all, but... Uh, she Sorry, really... what was that supposed to symbolize? That she broke her identity? No, it's supposed to symbolize that cats like to get anything shiny. And break no, speed, it, uh, right. No, it, it, sim it symbolizes a career. Like, okay, look, Shiroi, do cats, say, nor fuck these do cats normally hate something. windows? Um, no. I, I, from experience that I've seen, they hate stuff that are on mobile, <laughs> like they throw away pots and stuff like that. <laughs> fuck this thing. <laughs> Oh, look, and just like in Batman Returns, um, not Selena Kyle leaves messages for herself. It's like, again, that, make these, up your mind. The, the, her life now turns upside down, as you're about to see. Okay. Also, another, another question. I know she works for a big company, but uh, being just a simple employer, she probably couldn't afford the her apartment. Well, remember, Tio, she was due for a promotion because apparently her design got picked or something, and that's why she was up late at night because, oh, oops, it turns out also she missed her date with him. Oops. Also, around uh, this time in Ali Berry's career, two years prior, she was in Die Another Day, which was, ugh. Yeah. Boy. And another a, movie. Also, a, film that, a film that also had terrible direction. And, and another movie where she CGI. practically... And another movie where she practically drowns, uh, like, and, why? You know, I gotta give Halle Berry credit, she, okay, but she always- Halle Berry loved drowning in her movies. Uh, yeah, not only that, but she- Ophelia Powers. She knew how to take, <laughs> she knew how to take stinkers in stride, because the one good thing that came out of this movie is her speech at the Razzie Awards, because yes, she won a Razzie, thanks to this movie. Not too long after she got an Oscar. But don't, but, but hey, don't worry, guys. Uh, uh, oh, exactly goody. Oh. oh, yeah. But don't worry, guys. Uh, <laughs> after, uh, it took a while after this, but she was in, later in Kingsman. So, good. Who's this actress? Uh, Frances Conroy. Mm, Is she been in stuff? I don't really know either. Okay, so. sure, Roy. You thought the movie was crazy? Okay, let's just say... Oh, well, you're, you're leader of to meet a cat crazy person, so... Let me put it like this. This is something that even cat crazy people find crazy. <laughs> like, right. just listen. So many cats. These house must stink a lot. I think she's facing out a little bit. You're right, you're right, you're right. They expect us to take this seriously. You will take me seriously. Also, uh, just a pro tip, don't let's... Also, back... cats really don't tend to drink tea or coffee. And... <laughs> it's too bitter. Uh, yeah, maybe it's because I smell like cat stuff. 
It's like the time I picked up my friend's cat and he told me not to because apparently the, he, like, the cat's yeah. quite vicious and um, then it's like, why didn't she claw your face off? Apparently she liked <laughs> you. <laughs> oh boy, this sir. What's her? Okay, you know... That's catnip. You know, and she treats it like it's uh, cocaine. I get that catnip can make cats tipsy, but... Uh... Not to the point of that movie. Not to the point of that. Oh, I said I see it. Oh. I've honestly never seen cats on cat. Also, also, <laughs> also, again, this is the movie trying to be the new Spider Man because, yeah, for some reason, a lot of superhero films tried to be Spider Man, I guess, because Spider Man was successful. Yeah, so, yeah. You remember, Spider Man was like the new, the thing that relaunched the superhero genre. So, of course, like in Spider Man, there were changes. Here's the thing, <laughs> though. With Spider-Man, yeah, Peter was a bit of a jerk when he let loose of his powers a bit, but he didn't act like a spider. Uh... Eh? Oh, this. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> You're fired. Um, mm -hmm. My contract right. time. Yeah. Why do I like to imagine this is her talking to Brad Pittoff? She's being catty. Because of course. No, seriously though. And she's fired. Seriously though. What a surprise. Seriously though, edit out the parts where she's referring to her boss. Like, you could literally apply that to how she would have reacted to the director of this movie. Because also, it... so, uh, supposedly, these... Yay, uh, she lost her job! Okay. Woo! Because she stood up to the man! But the others are still enslaved. Okay. And he's gonna remember that yeah, he Yeah, yeah, the, 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 the gay character really is the yeah, it's a like, shit. It, it really is. Like, seriously, this is making the 90s take on gays look subtle by comparison. Yeah. I, I would say Catherine Zeta Jones in The Hunting is a much better representation. Yeah. And then there's, um, I can't, I can never remember his oh, name. Oh, guys, the she's a cat, so of course she hisses at dogs. Because... Shiroi, question, <laughs> question, Shiroi. Do Valentine and Mena have uh, the, the stereotypical cat versus dog relationship? Mena really liked Valentine. Valentine, on the other hand, <laughs> What? No. Oh my Not god, did, did Valentine she like... She doesn't like friendship. So no. Valentine, I guess, his it, Mena? Um, yes, a lot. And, um, Tio, the... um... Tio, it's like, yes, she sir? tolerated me, and I'm the one she liked the most. Wow. <laughs> the most I got was tolerance. So what, did she scratch Mena so or something? Yes, because, um, Mena doesn't, um... You know, because Mena's a puppy, you know, still learning how to, you know, calm down and... So it's li so Valentine is literally being a tsundere to Mena. Oh, Probably, course. yeah. <laughs> anyway, Lois supposedly collapsed, and we don't know the cause, but Patience is just uh, having her being treated in the hospital. It's part of a mystery, mm, which is more I of a bat, which is more of a Batman thing. So why are you bothering the, 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 making that, it a mystery? Guys, uh, we are like thirty minutes in, but it has already felt like an eternity. Yeah. What's, what's happened in this movie? One so third of the fucking movie. Well, hey, mm -hmm. a lot of terrible CGI cats. And, and, and hey, guys, we've got terrible cat jokes. You know, I'm just going to say this right now. The Adam West show did the cat pun thing better. Why? Because even Catwoman at some time realized that, hey, I need to settle down with the cat puns. In the 60s show. <laughs> but hey, also, but hey, but hey. In, in hilarious in hindsight, kids talking about shooting in a school with a policeman. Again, though, Urfa Kit was better. Let's All go. right. Yeah, again, let, let, let's take another throw for the 90s, the, the sports scene. Not only that, but the ever so somber guitar playing during a romantic scene between our two leads before their first date. Also, sorry. By the way, that's going to be a pop point. Yeah. I kid you not, Congratulate. the cup of... Yeah. Oh! You, 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 oh, God. <laughs> okay, Shiroi, this is officially the worst scene in this movie. For so many reasons. I'm just going to yeah. let you watch first. And then I'm gonna list why. 
Well, I've listed I've listed one already. It's poorly shot. But this is where the poorly camera shot, editing. Yeah. This is this is where the camera shooting, the camera editing, and everything is at its worst. So hey, you want to play? So apparently, these kids want to watch these two do one on one for some reason. Also, that's ah, that, uh, that was popular. Wow! Oh, 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 a song that, uh, Jennifer, a song that was popular at the time, which I heard all the time on the radio. That's the least of this scene's problems. Oh God. Mm. The shooting is at its absolute worst here. Shouldn't you be on duty, or are you off duty, mate? Um, <laughs> and, okay, in front of kids, ah. in front of kids, they're doing sexual poses in front of preteen kids. What is Brilliant. wrong with you? Uh, stop cutting. I can't Have you seen some that. of the fusion dances in Steven Universe, Jova? Well, sure, right. That was... That that's more modern. That this is now. Purpose. Oh God! They zoomed in on her rear. Of course. And and we're flipping between Friss and that, and now they're flashing each other in front of kids. Like, and again, shot reverse shot and angle there in their feet and. Before. And oh, oh. I kid you not, that has been regarded in history as one of the worst shot films in all of media. Like, is this... I know, I'm surprised they didn't make a Razzie specifically for that scene, but... Okay, to recount. The worst camera angles, the worst camera cuts, sexual poses, the writing there was just god-awfully stupid. Mm, Jova, I'm starting to sensing a pattern here, but... I still, it still escapes my grasp. Okay, but... look, movie. If you're gonna constantly hint at her being evil, just have her do some evil stuff. You're a movie called Catwoman. You don't need to be subtle. Also, <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't find Sharon Stone ugly, but uh, like, do you do you really need to see her constantly, like in skimpy outfits and corsets? Don't you get it though, Tio? She's past her prime to the point where her husband is openly cheating on her out in broad daylight on the street. Huh. Well, if I, use, if I actually use better makeup for the movie, I will still hate it. Oh, her. but look, she crushed the glass, but that's not bleeding. Hmm. Also, and she's eating tuna. Joke here. Yeah, she, she, tuna. She's tuna because she's a cat. Does <laughs> Does okay, Valentine I, eat I, this much okay. tuna, Shiroi? Okay, I've been eating fish recently for my um, dinner, but not to this extent. Shiroi, does Does even Valentine eat this much tuna? No, we didn't really uh, give her, like, tuna like that, anyway. <laughs> what kind of laugh is that? <laughs> I think even soap operas would be slapping you, telling you you're trying too hard. I am the female Michael Jordan, thanks to cat yeah, powers. Can, yeah, can, can, can you stop reminding me of Space, Space Jam movie? Honestly, please? I would take Space Jam over this movie. I'm not sure, Jova. Hey, hey, like, hey. At, hey, le at, le at least in this case, it's shitting on a single property instead of an entire brand. Hey, 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 hey. At least in the climax, they remembered they were Looney Tunes. Like, you know, look. I will take. Look. I consider the climax of Space Jam worth it, at least. Like, I don't know, Jova. Space Jam was worth anything? Well, apparently worth enough for us to well, convince to get a sequel. Time, since apparently a sequel's time, coming, yeah, starring... When, when, that, when, that, when that comes out. <laughs> True. And hey, look, Space Jam... Okay, the worst thing about Space Jam was it being boring. Yes, that's a cardinal sin, but it still did have good moments. Like, compare that to this movie. What good moments are there? Um. Oh, speaking of contrast. More contrast. You know. Yeah, remember earlier when she was timid and couldn't get her words out properly? Again. No. See, look, here's the thing. When it came to Peter, it was more like, you know, the first act that was showing how he had changed. After that, we were pretty much done. Here, it's throughout the course of this movie that we see the contrast of her. And look, I wouldn't mind. If it didn't take up so much focus some time, that could be spent on, oh, I don't know, action. 
Also, sure, is this a thing that cats will actually yell at someone to quiet down? Like, is it supposed to be people yelling actually, at cats to quiet down? Yeah, it, it's the reverse. Cats tend to be more active during the night. So what does this have to do with her being catty, for lack of a better term? Because contrast. I guess her being a cat gives her more confidence. But, like, she, yeah, I don't... but if she were more like a cat, wouldn't that mean that she's partying with them at night more so? True. Oh. But you think that's it? Okay, you know how we've been doing stereotypes? Well, now she's using water, even though she should hate water. Not just that. Uh, she's she she's, water she's, she's, she's about to endanger the life of everyone. Watch her. It looks like beer to me. Okay, uh, yeah, oh, yeah. Everyone hit by the water, by the way, will be electrocuted. Yeah. And right mm -hmm. out there and there, she uses it like a whip. And these games are the idea. No. You know, Hallie, I love you and all, but don't you by, think that by might... The way, don't if, you we, think... if the roles were reversed, this would be considered rape. Yeah, also, Hallie, I know you're trying to scare him, but you're Hallie Barry. Um, that may more so turn him on than scare him. Oh, God. Okay. Hey, remember how she said Here she was go. never going to wear that leather outfit, guys? Here we go. Yeah. Oh. You know, Hallie, you must have really been bored with Storm... Like, you really must have been bored with her. And, you know, I get it. You know, Storm did not get the best, but at what point did she... Why is she cutting her hair? Because it makes for an extreme montage. Yeah, I guess. And now she's wearing that leather outfit that she said she'd never wear, and she has a motorcycle? I'm oh, sorry, what? Nowhere. Where did she get the motorcycle? Oh, wait, wait, she wait. She it with her mind. Oh. She's not Bayonetta. You cannot have a motorcycle at random. <laughs> ah. Oh, God, dear. Ah! <laughs> you know, By the way, did, 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 did we mention... From... Did we mention that there was, a, there was an official video game based on this movie? And it sucks. There were two, actually. One for the Game Boy Advance and one, I think, for the PS2 and... Uh, GameCube. Yeah. Oh, by the way, did I mention that this is supposed to be a movie for female empowerment? I mean, granted, they don't shove it into your face, but it's going to become clear that this movie is about female empowerment. You know, it's ironic. The the, the female-led superhero film that finally, got the, that finally got it right was from the same studio as this one. Well, it wouldn't surprise me because you know, you know what's a shame is that Warner Brothers are actually good with their DC animated flicks. Like, I just don't get it. Most, most of the time. Yeah, it's just why. Okay, you get your animated movies, which are essentially adaptations of your comics, done for the most part. Why is the code so hard to crack in live action? Because it's almost as if Java Hollywood thinks more, I, I guess. Oh, 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 I'm getting somewhere. G Java, it's almost as if Hollywood doesn't understand the 2D animation and still considering toddler stuff, and thus uh, it doesn't actually give the proper respect it deserves. True. Not only that, though, but I mean, look. Um, at the time of this recording, DC is schooling Marvel, video game wise, Please fighting never do game wise. That again. Oh, that well, sure, it's about to get worse. Wait, never so. do what again, sir? Right. <laughs> they did so much wrong in that one scene, yeah, I have to ask... Hold on, yeah, hold on, just watch because of what's about to happen, what, for me, it's the worst scene. Oh, wait, movie. it's the cat pun, isn't it? That's what got you. Well, not just that, it's just everything coming up. Also, music. Uh, 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 Here we it. go. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll give this movie this. When it's not being boring, you certainly won't be bored. For comparison, in the three previous yeah. years, the Lord of trilogy actually had several action sequences that involved CGI in a way far better than this. Honestly, even when, and, and, and those films cost less, by the even, way. Even, even one that I would argue was actually terrible, the one with Legolas killing the Oliphant in The Return of the King. Mm -hmm. That that was still better than this. How? Are we and been also, Jova, yeah. like even the terrible Wonder Woman movie was at least funny. Oh this... yeah, oh, yeah. The, the TV pilot. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, the yeah it was a TV pilot. Never mind. Yeah, there's actually a good animated Wonder Woman flick, but I know what you're talking about. The pilot. It's like, yeah, I mean, yeah, that pilot was god awful, but at the very least, it was consistent in how awful it, it was, was to the point watch. where <laughs> it was. Yeah. How sad is it that an unfinished pilot is more fun to watch than an actual finished product? Oh, oh God! You know, gosh. just gonna say this yeah. right now again. The '60s show handled this stuff better. 
the 60s show, the one that literally has the words BAM POP, stuff to describe guys getting punched, handled this better. And she takes off the mask, you fool. You idiot. Like, you know, there's no point because you're stealing stuff anyway, so if anything, going out there risks that you'll be seen without the mask on. But, uh-oh, turns out she now has dual personality disorder. And, and uh, uh... Also, we're not even halfway through the movie. Oh, my God. You know... And she apparently has amnesia because she can't remember what happened the previous You day. know, Warner Brothers, there actually is a female character to do for this. You know who that character is? Duella Dent. Harvey Dent's daughter, but she calls herself Joker's daughter, but she has multiple personalities. Like, but Jova, that's too obscure. We cannot have that because that will not make uh, the casual fans actually go to the theater. Oh, wait, but hold Don't on. You know? We need to capitalize over the ignorant masses. Even though we actually worked with obscure characters in the Wonder Woman movie later on, like, you know, again, why not just do what Marvel does with obscure characters? Make them good new characters. That would require... A bit too much work okay. Oh, and, and by the way, yeah, we just want another stupidity. And this is the part where I question my faith in humanity. Remember how she gave a coffee mug to this same police officer signed sorry and how it's the exact same handwriting? Sure, right. What conclusion would you come to this? Pastries. Now, like, okay, sure, right, question. If you were a cop and you were starting to date a woman who gave you, you know, something that has the exact same handwriting <laughs> with the bag of stolen jewels. Oh, yeah, that's right. She returned the jewels and somehow got in there unseen by anyone and signed sorry. Now, Shuri, if, uh, you, yeah, if you were dating... Now, Shuri, if you were dating Halle Berry, surely you would recognize her signature. You see, the thing is, this isn't the first time where somebody not comparing writing styles has, um you know, been the sole reason for the plot moving forward. And that's the thing, though! Oh, I just have to slap, slap my head on a keyboard. Here's the problem, this guy's a cop! Like, comparing signatures is one of the first thing you do with investigation, you don't! And you know the woman personally! But believe it, oh! It, 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 it's now, funny you mentioned that too, because Ace Attorney came out, like, one year after this. Now, I know what you're thinking. Also, we're in, literally in, watching in, in the, the opening West. credits again. Now, I know what you're thinking, Shiroi. Well, maybe it's because he doesn't want to believe she's Catwoman? Ah, uh, yeah, no, actually, it's just because he didn't think to do it. Guys, did I miss the male academia bit? No, no, we're oh, actually no, getting oh, there. Oh, no, actually okay, funny. now, this, yes, this is a scene that shows that this is about female empowerment. Just listen to this. Oh, there's also an interesting Easter egg, but I'll point it out when it happens. Oh, here it is. <sighs> yeah, you're about to go. And now it's time for historical retcon. Yeah. <laughs> Puss off. Huh? Puss off. <laughs> yeah, sure. Wait, listen. Isn't that Wait, listen. Black Adams? Oh, sorry. Yeah, okay, so... So here's the thing, Stuart. She wrote this book about cat women who become mystical beings as a non-fiction stuff. She used to be a professor of codes, but she got booted out after trying to show off that. And her excuse for it is male academia. Basically. And not because, you know, any normal person would find a book like that ridiculous. Again, sure, sure, sure. You're actually a girl, so please, do tell me. Would you think that the reason that the idea that People become Catwoman over history because cats mystically choose them, and that got rejected at college. Would you say that's just sexism, or what would be your actual response? Um, I'd probably leave the room uh, and hey, never hey, speak to this woman movie, again. This movie would have <laughs> been a blast hey, hey, if it was hey, done Jeremy. today. Jeremy, could you imagine how that? Could you imagine how that day actually went? And that, ladies and gentlemen, was my theory on how cats can turn people into cat women. Any questions? This is going to be the easiest class ever. Because. Uh, I... Yes, I have one. Who let you out of the asylum? And she literally pushed her. Uh, what if she died? <laughs> yeah, Oof. that would have been very awkward. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, will tell you, I, I will show you the power of the, the, the photos because. Uh, uh, hold on. Let me see if he can spot her. Wait. Uh, not yet. Not yet. No. Monk did that line better. Don't you dare. 
forgot where essentially uh if it should be if it shows up i'll just say but amongst those photos were actually one of michelle pfeiffer in batman returns get it the continuity of some <laughs> non specific kind so catwoman is dead then oh, um... yeah, there you go there you go there she is <laughs> in the center cute like it, what is this movie even for what you're trying to tell me mr Petoff? speak to me please no. So, a question. No, no, I was so, do, I put on the mask. so, do they ever explain why this woman supposedly knows all this? You think she just does? Do you, now, okay, you think the obvious thing would be well because she was a past cat woman. No, she wasn't. She just they somehow knows either, this. For the people who still don't know, the original Catwoman was just a simple burglar, burglar that, seeing Batman's activities, decided just to to wear a mask and try to take things action on her own for uh, her own usual greed. Actually, to you, bit of a fun fact: the original Catwoman actually started off as a Superman villain. She just later ended up attached to Batman. Uh, you, no, I'm referring to the to, to the origin story post Crisis. Oh, yeah. Post crisis, you remember, Joe? After crisis on Infinite Earths, so it was acted as a general. Okay, so Shiroi, are you ready to feel oh, female boy. empowered? Because now it's time for the actual costume, complete with high heels, open-toed shoes. Well, I guess that's for the claws. Torn, torn well, trousers. Oh, oh, what is... oh, 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 Jova, please. So we're now we're turning this into a BDSM movie, or this like... is not even sexy. It's not even titillating because later they CGI her. No, I'm not kidding. They CGI Howie Berry. Like and right also, now. also the pants are still impractical for the acrobatics she's supposed to do. Now, okay. also those heels. Oh, uh, yeah. Now, okay. Apparently, the reason they're open-toed shoes is because. Actually, no, we don't get a shot of her toenails no, actually to, being to, that to strong. Be fair, to be fair, going back to what I said, Bay Bayonetta told me that uh, you can have an action girl still with high heels. Well, no, 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 do, 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 do. the high heels are not my main issue. I mean, high heels have always been a thing for Catwoman. It's the fact that these are open-toed shoes, and she uses her toenails to retract. Like, we never even get a scene showing that her fingernails and toenails have actually True. gotten that sharp. Like, you know, at least with Peter, we get the close-up on his fingers to show that he's a sticky sticky so, no, so yeah, she, she used the diamonds to create the nails uh, to grip on things and slide in the also comments. cats really don't like having their paws touched yeah oh don't worry sure we got some more cat trivia and by that i mean cat puns coming up but yeah now it's time for the plot to actually go somewhere finally see the reason she's doing this is because she wants to look into what happened to her friend played by alex bornstein it may have something to do with the cosmetics. Hmm, I wonder. Even though we just had a scene that clearly showed that Sharon Stone has something going on because her hand didn't bleed from breaking glass, so, yeah, really lulling us in, aren't you, movie? Like, oh my god, I have never seen... Well, okay, actually I have, but it's not every day you see a movie that is so terrible at keeping its secrets when it clearly wants you to keep secrets. Unless you're trying to be unsubtle purposely, you're failing. And no, they're not trying to be unsubtle, I'll just let you know. Of course. Oh boy, yeah, about this also. You know, there was an animated Catwoman short that also had a scene going on in a crummy bar. And yes, while Catwoman does sort of do a bit of a semi-strip here, it's her using yeah, her I'll assets in a way these, that's actually uh, more productive. She does these stupid uh, Hold paraphrasing oh. just to get milk. Get it? Because cats. Uh, like, just that's call an, it milk. That's what? a nine-year-old humor. Okay, I have to wonder what was the. Okay, why would you have sleeves that aren't even completely on your arm? Like, it's not I'm like the pay for that. Uh... It's like here's the thing: the gloves are not even a part of the sleeve. So, what is even the point of some of that oh costume? Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm going to look up who the editor of the show was actually. Ah, ah, ah! Some someone will probably go. Woman's bosom, bosom. Woman's bosom, woman's torso, did, woman's rear did, did, again. Uh, Having fun. Ah, oh, Caesar. Uh, hey, Jova. Jova, yeah? I got it. The person who edited this movie was was. Oh. Like they went on to be the ed one of the editors for Suicide Squad. Pedro, do you feel the arousal? 
Nah, this porn is really, really bad. Like, seriously, I, I, it's I, Halle Berry. I, 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 We're 15 too. free minutes in and there's still no sex. What kind of porn is this? $100 million. Dollars, uh, uh, what got wasted on this? Uh, look, look, you're a superhero film. If you're not going to actually commit to it, don't bother doing etchy stuff because we know you're not going to go that far. Unless you're Poison Ivy, but, well, she ain't in this. No, remember, Jova, the Poison Ivy origin story is at the end of a troll in Central Park. <sighs> that would actually be an interesting one. Uh... Yeah, how did you think that would work? Also, this music is so unfitting. It's like I'm playing Prince of Persia Warrior Within again. You know, look, I'm not against having people look sexy and stuff, you know? I mean, obviously, there comes a point where, yeah, some outfits are going to be revealing. But I'm sorry, what is even the practicality of this outfit? Like, look, Catwoman was considered one of the sexiest superheroes, yet she never did it with a costume this stupid. Fuck you, movie. <laughs> so Hmm, I wonder. Because she heard something she wasn't supposed to hear. Let me remind you, any employee could have and just and entered this guy in there. doesn't even connect the dots. So. Well, I guess to be fair to you, uh, how do you connect the dots to woman I flushed out to woman who's now cat beamed and crazy? Like, uh, you should still at least have some concerns. Uh. I don't know. I don't. I don't think even Sherlock Holmes would make a deduction like that, lacking that much logic. Um. Oh goody, this scene. Mm. He's dead. Uh, no shit. Get it? It's the same guy who can't live with turning people into editing. monsters. Also, you're supposed to have good hearing. She must have killed him, for even though she doesn't have a gun. Hey guys, remember how I've ever seen as established that Halle Berry now has great cat senses? Somehow she wasn't able to hear a lone security guard coming about around her. Not just that, uh, you're not stopping him. Like, you, she could have stopped him easily, but no. <laughs> that face. Halle Berry had to cut her hair for this movie. I hope you're proud. That's a shame because I don't really hate Holly Berry or you know, like, you know, you know, even at the, even at the worst, like in the in the Flintstones movie, I'd see a level soft spot. You know, where... he, here's what I don't get: it's the same problem with the X Men Storm, and then is in like, well, okay, why would you get rid of her long hair when you know long hair was kind of a thing integral for Storm, unless you're going for the Mohawk one, Mohawk, yeah, which they weren't in the first X Men film. Oh no, guys, they're gonna launch their cosmetics. That is the main conflict of our movie, cosmetics. Female empowerment! I'm just, uh, yeah, again, you could have uh, actually used one of the many. I mean, again, as I mentioned, uh, uh, Catwoman doesn't really have a proper rogues gallery of villains, but you could have had some, like, uh, someone migrating from uh, like the Batman rogues alley. Like, for example, uh, I don't know. Poison Ivy, again. Oh, yeah, also uh. Poison Ivy. Or maybe even something like Cheetah from Wonder Woman to have the cat duality. I don't know. But yeah, but yeah, yeah. It's funny you bring up Two-Face, because again, they could have done what the comic did and have Sharon or Stone our, be... Or... A two face. Or also, or also, what Arkham City tried to do. Like, I can't believe I'm saying that they should take inspiration from Catwoman, Gotham's. Oh God, whatever. Oh, and only called. now is connecting the dots. Like, seriously, seriously, I'm actually asking for the film to take inspiration from um from I a. Else, what terrible else for story? Yeah. Written by Doug Monk, the same guy who wrote Justice League: Act of God. Ugh. Oh well, okay, I'll give Monk this. He can write a good Batman story. That's also his weakness. He can only write a good Batman story. And I would argue that Catwoman Guardian of God is not even a good Batman story. Well, it's supposed to be a Catwoman story first and foremost, but it ended up being a Batman story. Because? Well, well because like Monk has a big uh, boner for Batman, as we all know. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so... 
Now, okay, so you think, okay, this means he's going to bring her in for questioning? Nope. He's just going to roll with the, what he does. Oh, this scene. Oh, I, I forgot about this scene. Uh, okay, this is not Gotham, but what city is this supposed to be? Like, New York. Even established? I think it's supposed to be New York. Actually, no, they have not established. Like, like Seattle, you maybe? You know, just going to say, movie, rule number one of a superhero film, establish your city. I know it doesn't seem <laughs> important, but it is kind of important. <laughs> Please. Although rule number two, do not express your city to the point where Frank Miller's The Spirit did. That's just creepy. Rule, rule of thumb for everyone who hasn't seen it yet, go watch um, Adam and Pals uh, watch this movie. It's on the um, uh, yourmoviesucks.org channel. It's essentially uh, the main host of the channel, Adam, and some of his friends are trying to watch this movie and uh, failing miserably, let's just say that. It's I, pretty uh, entertaining. Did I, did I miss anything? You're just Terrible in time, scenes, Dwibs, for another superhero's... Oh my god, I just realized. This has a similar problem to another superhero movie that came out around this time, Fantastic Four. Little to no superhero. And, and, and yes, Shira, it's similar to the end of a Death Note Netflix movie. We're about to have a dangerous scene on a Ferris wheel. Great. Again, isn't it convenient? Wheel for chasing each other around. Isn't it convenient that all the stuff is going wrong just after she got her powers? Not just that, uh, this stuff will about to be go wrong at the, uh, all at the same time, just on his Perry's wheel. Well, this place is gonna get closed down for inspection. Yeah, seriously. Ins man. Inspection, Jover, I think we're way past that. Uh. Don't you see it, guys? It's Don Paolo hijacking the Perry's wheel so he can use it against Layton. I uh, get was it funny, I that happened? I, I wish I was watching Eternal Diva. What? Don is not in the... Oh, wait, I think he is in the Eternal He's in the beginning, I think. So, what's he how is, he... is in the beginning when they're doing the intro for the beginners, yeah. for the ones who haven't played the games. Also, yeah... Who is your kid alone on this? Idiot. Well, actually, no, he's not an idiot. He just got attacked by the pot contrivance theory. And, okay, I'm sorry. So, after everyone in the city sees this, no one suspects her of being cat- Or questions, at oh least. Oh my god, I just realized, do they ever call her Catwoman in this movie? I actually don't think so. Oh actually, yeah, I, I do think that the crazy cat lady mentioned something like that. Well, she calls them cat women, and that's sort of in the term of crazy cat ladies, like, you know. But, yeah, it's probably the best you're gonna get. Wow. Again, jo again Jova, these bags, again, the question, why don't you just make your own- original superhero instead of, you know, destroying the DC property. And again, this also repeats... Okay, so, okay, so like, so like Fantastic 2004, there's little to no action, like the Silver Surfer, there's a scene with a Ferris wheel that's terrible, and like the Fanforstic reboot, we don't even get the proper superhero name. So let me get this straight, you're getting the worst part of each of the Fantastic Four movies, all of them. Well, I mean, there's a good reason this was. Can, this is one of the lowest rated superhero films of all time. Like, I think this even got rated lower than Batman and Robin. I, I, I'm sorry, Joe. I would watch Batman and Robin. There's Joe Schumacher Batman movies. I would too. All over this, even for b basic entertaining purposes. Aside from some of the most baffling scenes, this movie <laughs> is boring. Soundtrack? What are you doing? That's the quirky it's music you play it's when. It's stealthy. Oh. It's it, it's like in um it's like it's like in, oh my uh, god it, it's diamond it's so like... she's actually using it for a circle. oh my god that's actually something that Catwoman does you finally did yeah. it go on go ahead, it's, uh, like in, it's like in it's like it's like in Fairy <laughs> Fred they keep choosing the wrong they keep choosing the wrong music for the wrong scene oh yeah. god again Cue that the trumpet theme that scene with Halle Berry the... just spinning around in a chair I get the feeling uh... that was just her going. What am I doing? Like, uh, what am oh, I even doing? Oh, here we go. A and golf club. First, uh, and this starts the, my main problem with the movie. Throughout all this movie, Sharon Stone will be inches close to the face of Ollie Berry, and she doesn't kiss her. Like, like the, no, trust me, they're the, really... The movie, the movie cock teases you to no end, but never goes through. Also, that should have hurt her, but it still didn't. Uh, Ali Catwoman. Wait, or, no. Um, oh, listen to the listen to this dialogue.
Is that little mermaid going on there? No idea. Oh, where's Sam Bit Wilson? Pro, 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 where's Sam Bit Wilson? Where's Sam Bit Wilson been for most of the movie? I don't know, but he, we were in. He knew to stay away as much as possible. So yeah, that was the scene with Catwoman and Sharon Stone. Now apparently Sharon Stone is going to help Catwoman because her husband is behind this vile scheme. Even though what Sharon, does this mean? even though, let me remind you, you know when that henchman was told to flush Halle Berry down? Yeah, that was Sharon Stone on the phone. Like no hiding it. And yet they expect us to believe that Sharon Stone is going to help Catwoman bring down the real bad guy. Don't, don't you see, Jova? She we're trying to make us think she's affably evil or something. Also, get it, guys? Lambert's so much of a dick that even his date leaves him. Ah! Ugh. And now she's trying to be Batman. Um... How? I'm sorry. How did nobody notice this? Like, I know it's an opera house, but, uh... Where's the security? I guess the Cirque du Soleil is really is that attractive to people. Well, yeah, I can get it being attractive, but even still, there's got to be a, uh, some sort of a skeptical... Oh, there you are. Fancy you. All part of the script, people, because the actors are still rolling with this. We are literally using a scene from Rockadoodle. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, no. Surfaces are not that climbable like that in a field. Uh, the people like the stupid masses, but they are just... Oh! Okay! There's the cop who's in love with her. Now, surely Halle Berry's gonna, you know, uh, change her voice, or no, she'll just talk the exact same way she always does. Put your hands together if you want. That was a literal pinup pose. No, please yeah. continue. I'd rather listen to you than this. Um, this is Tom and Jerry. Um, uh, 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 Again, Warner Brothers. <laughs> like, this scene is terrible. And let me remind <laughs> you guys. No, okay. <laughs> Let's pr okay now. Let's <laughs> pretend that you're dating Halle Berry, Halle freaking Berry, and you come across a woman who's just the right height, has the same voice, and similar mannerisms. Would you have guessed at this point who Catwoman is? Because this guy doesn't. Like, even Inspector Gadget had better deduction skills than this cop. Wow, those puns were terrible. Yeah. And also, again, this is supposed to be our main, one of our main conflicts of the movie. Why are you moving, uh, moving special effects on a theater? You know, this works better when it's Batman who she's taunting because, well, again, the two are on similar skills and lengths. Here, she's literally just toying with him, like she could beat him up. Except he somehow gets a drop on her, and he couldn't get her mask off. What an idiot cop! You might as well eat donuts. Surprised they didn't do that. Well, I mean, he drinks coffee. Yeah. Oh, and now <laughs> I'm she, she puts I'm DNA on him. I'm she... surprised that cafe he went to wasn't wasn't um, wasn't uh, Krispy Kreme. Also, she literally kissed him. Like not just that, she planted essentially her DNA on him. Great job. Hey, Catwoman. this is also like in Catwoman Gotham's Guardian, that Elseworlds tale. And this works, apparently. Instead of shooting her immediately, we just let her go. What was she even doing anyway? What, just to try and get Pit off to talk? Apparently. <laughs> yep, that's all I'm from the, the tagline from this movie. This is a disaster. Why are you even still married? Why not just divorce? Ruin? Uh, you got caught in an opera show. How does that translate to you? This ruins my business. Don't you see, Joe? We need to speed things up. Yeah, I have to say, after the first half an hour, the movie picks up the pace. At least there's that. For better or for yeah. worse. I would st it's still born at every point, so yeah, 0 0.10 still. Congratulations, movie. 
Ow. Get it? It should have hurt her, but it didn't. Oh, for God's sakes, the movie! Get any job because she's Sharon Stone. <laughs> oh my God! Again, movie. I really wonder. I really wonder if Peter did this just because of the actress' name. I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, the French have some weird mannerisms, <laughs> and I'm actually not kidding here, considering what we've learned about Quantic Dream. Oh, yeah. hey, Alex, you're back in this movie. Yeah, we're just glossing over the fact that she got out of the hospital. And the real you. It's called schizophrenia. It should be treated by someone. I, I heard this Hugo Strange guy is really good at his job. Yeah, not only that, but uh, the movie at some point seems to forget that she has the whole dual personality thing going. Um... Go! Sure, whatever. Uh, hey. Oh, get it, guys? She's into the fish. Sure, Roy, does yeah. Valentine eye fish like this? Uh, she's never been around fish, actually. Oh. You can bring her the fish and chips shop, dude. And she eats sushi! No, I, don't, I don't have fish. Not, not so. just sushi, she just picks the fish part of the okay, sushi. Okay, police guy, your girlfriend eats sushi. Like, there's no tomorrow, like, uh, which is a thing that really cats are stereotyped some, for. You, you really have, need, to, you need to have some dead brain cells if you haven't connected the dot yet. I was going to say, I really like sushi, but I'm a terrible example. So... <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Being a cat person. Oh. Uh, who knows, Shiroi? Maybe... But eating <laughs> a lot of sushi doesn't mean anything, or wait, actually, it might. <laughs> well, Shiroi, well, Shiroi, if Valentine comes into your room and wakes you up and then breathes on you with CGI breath, I guess that means you're the next cat woman. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or or maybe... become Mark Zuckerberg because CGI breath steal. Maybe that's why uh... Valentine likes you, Shiroi, because you've been chosen. I love just that, uh, that, just that, Pedro. Pedro, how, how much would you want uh, for actually suddenly to this to turn into the uh, sushi roulette from the new Yokai Watch episode and her to get uh, the yes. super wasabi? That penalty? yes, super yeah. wasabi, please, on Catwoman, please. You know, yes. I honestly have to wonder at what point did it become that cats were the sexy ones? Like, you never hear anything sexy like dog woman. Jova, could we not get into this? Yeah, if, yeah. In a, if in hell, Jova. Yeah, in well, hell. On, actually, well, I, Jova. wait, hold on. Tio, is there an Italian ripoff called Dog Woman? There's Puma yeah. Man, I can well, tell you well, that. Well, well, well Jova, there's uh, the band. He they got that, Pedro. Well, Jova, there's this French cartoon called Doc Tanyan, which is basically a retelling of the Free Musketeers novel. But with uh, anthropomorphic dog characters, so Juliet is of course uh, a dog woman in that one. So really? it's, it's actually really, it's actually really good. It's a really good for for a kids retelling. It actually stood clo surprisingly close to the book, and a lot of the darker elements are preserved. So it's, wow. it's actually a really good cartoon. First time hearing about it. We'll have to get out to give that a watch. Sometime. I heard of another adaptation, but I will I'll show you. I'll show you, I'll show you a bit. I'll show, I'll show you a bit after. Of course, this. then there's also the Orlando Bloom adaptation. What are you watching? And of course, like a cat, she hates being caught in the rain. Um. Hey, guy, aren't you chasing after a cat themed villain? Of course, this is a Warner Bros. movie from the early 2000s, so. Let's, let's do it when Matrix Unless are loaded. This guy dude. is secretly a furry and he knows exactly who she is and he just <gasps> doesn't care. <laughs> okay, Shiroi, but... I hate to say, but this would explain a lot. Oh, but oh, <laughs> but, oh, but get it? Believe it or not, Alex though, Anna, here is about to be. Here is now the clearest sign. She's going to purr while making love to him. Not just that. When some mentioned since it's an early to fall. Since it's an early 2000 um, Warner Bros. movie, we need to have a scene similar to the one in. Uh, uh, Matrix Reloaded, but since he's still PG, that just cut it before it ends. You hey. are the dumbest, you are the dumbest detective ever. Hey. What, what, what do you need me to do? Shout in your face. She's Catwoman! Hey Pedro, 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 I've been thinking about this great scene here. I'm writing in a part where Halle Berry will purr while making love to her love interest. What do you think? Mm. Uh, you're fired. Leave my yeah. office in the morning. You know, I I really have to wonder how did that conversation go? Like, I think that conversation may have been even. Well, more... actually, never mind, Joe. Let me allow me to retract that. Remember, like, to go to to stay true to what I always keep saying about throwing the script in that guy's face. Uh, allow me, script. <laughs> there you go, on your face. 
So which do you think is more awkward? That or the free-breasted cat lady in, uh, in Star Trek? Uh, Dwibs, I'm going to handle this one Star for Trek you. 5, in case you don't remember. Um, so what was the question again? Yeah, which do you think is more awkward? Halle Berry purring while making love or Shatner's free-breasted cat lady that he wrote into Star Trek 5? Who are dancing in Star Trek 5? Also, what kind of phone has that as your caller ID? No idea. She has proof that, um... That's an obvious bait. You should not take it. Uh, oh my god. Also, are you and your other personality now, or are the two now merged? Oh, uh, whatever. Thunderstrike transition. Yeah. And believe it or not, okay, so what's the cop guy going to do now? Now he's going to take the lip sample from when he got kissed to one of the lip samples from off of one of her bottles. Gee, it's almost as if planting the DNA on him was a bad idea. You still, you needed to do all of this after she purred while making love to you. Oh, I guess I have to turn in my sweet furry girlfriend. That sounds like it's out of Toxic Waste from Crash Bandicoot. Yeah. A PlayStation mm -hmm. 1 game. I, I forgot, Dweebs. Who was the composer? Carl Spadel. The same guy who brought no us Pirates idea. of the Caribbean. It's the soundtrack. How? Why? What kind of... Look, Tio, this is one of those magical kind of movies where no matter how talented anyone is, they all suffer well, in this in movie. In this case, I want, the, I want the Witcher treatment and someone say that the magic is gone. Tell, tell, tell. Allow me to remind also, you. Again, uh, we the implied uh, stuff, but whatever. I'm already over at this point. To go out there. Oh. Tell, allow me to remind you that M. Night Shyamalan managed to make Will Smith boring. Also, well, didn't Will Smith himself manage to be, you know, out of boring himself? Also, Lambert's dead now. Yeah. And she's literally whispering off. to her about how he she's about even, to frame he her. He didn't even have a last line. He was pre he was almost killed off screen. Oh. Actually God. she actually he off was killed off screen. Death. Also Can we can I is there any, I can't, I think I can cut on one hand the times I've watched film stuff with you guys where I haven't seen it off screen death. Also, Catwoman, she's literally telling you that she's gonna frame you for his murder. Get out of there and oh you Honestly, Debs, do you even care about what they do off screen at this point? <laughs> Here we go. Also, isn't Catwoman supposed to be like a master thief or something? She gets caught this easily. Congratulations, Sharon. You that's a great performance. <laughs> Jeez, that's a lot of police. And she stops to look at herself in the mirror, even though she's Ali, just been framed no for murder. To, no time to admire yourself. Like, chased by this movie is just sexist. It's supposed to be female empowering, yet it's just the opposite in how she got changed out that quickly. Also, Sears. Yeah, funny enough, I don't remember seeing a Sears the States. Oh, well, that's because Sears is now out of business these days. Oh. This is back when Sears was still a thing, before it got absorbed into Macy's. Oh, look, there's the name, Catwoman! There's the name, Catwoman Macy's kills there. again. Was she killed before? Uh... Or they, or they suspect she killed before. Yeah, I guess so. Either that or they're just bullshitting to suit their own agenda. Well, uh-oh, finally, and I mean finally, she's under arrest. No, he's just going to arrest her for skimping out on that date. But you'd be shot to pieces before you left, um, whatever it, street you're on. But get it, the only reason she doesn't do it is because she doesn't want to. Hey, nah, could, nah. hey guys. What? Could you imagine if could you imagine if the sun was set in the UK and what? it'd be raining all the time? Uh -huh. And cats don't like water. 
I guess if I can give her one credit, she doesn't do the stupid thing and try and run. She actually does try and plead her case. Oh, now they're saying Catwoman. Roll credits, I guess. No, no one understands in this fucking movie. Yeah, but it took you long <laughs> enough. Huh? What? It was only when I saw the tail. Wait, what? <laughs> Maybe sure your theory was more correct than you thought. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think they write themselves, honestly. Well, <laughs> considering the amount of cat puns we've been getting, uh, yeah. You know, look, we know that she's the good guy, but just saying the whole pretending to cry thing is a thing a lot of female criminals do. Like, statistically and factually. Yeah, and I mean, again, you say that this movie is supposed to be about female empowerment, and she's kind of using the crocodile tears thing here. It's like really. Yeah. You're, well, you're how about this? Well, well, how about this, Shira? Consider. I'm curious. Considering uh, that other franchise is also supposedly, according to the creators, as we saw in the Facebook in the, in the yes. Twitter video, which of these two franchises is more female empowering? This, this movie or Spirit Riding Free? Oh. This movie, because the other one treats yeah. me like a fucking idiot. Yeah, I hate yeah. to say it, but I'll take this over spirit writing free, if only because this at least tries to speak to people like they're adults. I mean, I feel stupid most, for most, watching it again, sometimes. but that, that other franchise is beyond patronizing. And at least the protagonist here does not enrage me. Like, yeah, that's a thing. Halle Berry is trying her heart out, and oh, she just hissed at him. <sighs> But all the same, though, at least Halle Berry doesn't try to actively do evil stuff, except when she's in that stupid alternate persona, whereas Lucky is yeah. a sociopath all around. <coughs> uh... Oh my god, that 360 shot. What are you doing? I'm sorry, the case is solved. Maybe there's uh, something more to it. But guys, ma more to maybe there's something more to it. <laughs> And, okay, look, even if you didn't kill, you did technically steal those when you were, well, apparently that was her <laughs> cat side, employing her to kit to steal. What? Oh, God. Mm -hmm. She's communicating with the cat. We. Yes, whatever you said. Well, it's not uncommon for people to talk to their pets. No, as in, she's tele she's communicating with telepathy to the cat. Because that's Aquaman sing. And they turn that into a meme. Like <laughs> you're literally having Catwoman be a telepath with cats. The Everything's a meme now. The miracle too. never happened. But get this now. She still needs to stop that line of cosmetics because, again, that's the main conflict, cosmetics. If only there was another superhero that you could call for help. Oh, you mean like Superman, Wonder Woman, Poison or Ivy? Yes, Batman, that's right, Poison Ivy. Because is a... this is yeah. supposed to be a continuation of fucking Batman <laughs> for returns. And now I give, I give to you one of the most stupid of all cliches. No, yeah, that's no. clearly CGI'd. Hey, oh. this reminds me of how Halle Berry was also an X-Men that had a guy who CGI'd his way through some bars. Problem is... You know, and... I know cats can actually, uh, even if they don't look like they can, they can squeeze into very tight spaces, but that is just... Well, she wait, remember wait, cats uh, are legal. She teleported. So. How did... <laughs> okay, that was literally a Scooby-Doo teleportation. How'd she do that? Not even Batman can do that. And he's Batman. We... Uh, then... Why are you trying to sexualize Halle Berry while she's falling? And In nearly CGI, got ran over? Then... Also Bumper. And oh, look and that, look at that, uh, a pamper. Uh, oh yeah, very, it's a jaguar. Very stupid movie. Get it? Because it's a cat. Get it? Because uh, cats land on their feet. This is not GTA, patience. Dweebs, how many stars this would raise? Uh, four. Four? Yeah. Come on, dude. Stealing, <laughs> just, yeah, just, yeah. just stealing a car doesn't give you four stars. Well, that's also the fact that she it, escaped it, from it police custody. The, it yeah, yeah. She's escaped police custody, so yeah, she'd be getting four stars. 
Oh my god, I, I, I just guess. I just realized this is literally Yzma's speech from Emperor's New Groove when mourning the loss of Kuzco. I would watch that every single day over this. Uh, Again, I bring it up because right, Yzma, was, Yzma was voiced by Urfa Kit, who was also Catwoman. Not to mention too, if the, not to mention too, if, they, if this was uh, GTA, I could get high on hash brownies and start to shoot the crap out of the people, uh, all, <laughs> all, 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 all while there's a pink background. Uh, it, so, mm. also, yeah, her makeup isn't that great in this at all. Yeah. Uh, I just had everyone waiting for that. Would you like some tea, sir? Uh, are you trying to well, seduce me? Well, that's a pair of coffee. Well, CGI trucks, because of... You know... Why do you need to use CGI for these past shots? I think this may have even more CGI than the King Kong movie. Where did she got the outfit back? And why did she get the same outfit as before? It's more... Practical, I don't know. He tried to kill Can me with a forklift. Yeah. This music, oh my god. Thank god it's almost over. Thank goodness Claus got to do good stuff after this. And she steals a truck. And okay, why? Well, that should raise more stars. Oh my god, she's doing this just to stop the cosmetics from being distributed. Yeah. Now, okay, let me say the stupid thing here. We don't even know what's truly wrong with the cosmetics. Yeah. I mean, we're only going to get explained at the last minute what is wrong with the, with the cosmetics. For what all we... that? Uh, supposedly the motivation of the... I mean, the motivation of the region was just to sell, not to have money. To also... Sell the, but apparently Sharon Stone's motivation would be just so she can remain the most beautiful thing in the world while the rest of the world becomes... be dies. You know, lady, there is a point of moving on. Like, I get it. Your husband screwed you out of being the face of the corporation, but... Uh... Not just that. Uh, supposedly, this is the DC universe. So the stuff that gave us things like the Joker, Dark Side, Swamp Thing, and you're choosing this as your main villain. She isn't even based off of a villain. That's... She's just some generic makeup person. Also... This is stuff video will see in the Silver Age, which will be a parody of it. Also, I'm just gonna say this right now: cosmetics messing up a face. You know, there's a term for that. Oh no, he's dead. No, he's not. He's still hanging in because he's a cop. He's wearing body armor, I guess. Or he has that cliche. Uh oh, the oh but it turns armor. out now she just revealed that she truly killed them all. Which means now that'll clear Catwoman of all charges afterwards. Of course. What are you going to kill us? What are you going to kill us with? Oh, right. Her security force. No, no, she's gonna use her makeup to kill. Uh, the sad thing is it's that so, you are it's actually so that stereotypical. Yeah, Dwibs is actually right, but we'll get to that later. Oh, God. You know, I'm just gonna say this right now. Hang on, weren't you? Weren't you? Yeah, you were shot. You shouldn't be walking around like that. Now the conflict. Well, you were shot at the the shoulder, so you should be able to walk. Now again, like I said, the conflict is that something that's happening with the cosmetics is messing up certain people's faces. Here's the issue. There's a real life name for that. It's called allergies. Like you do know, sometimes people's skin just reacts badly to stuff. Is this really some wide conspiracy? Well, spoilers, it actually is, but all the same, that's kind of a leap of logic to take to donning a Catwoman costume against a company on the off chance that there may be a conspiracy involving cosmetics of all things. Mm. I wouldn't harp on this so much at the fact, you know, if they at least made this story plot endearing, but it ain't. Just, like heck, yeah, if, yeah, like yeah. heck, look, if you're gonna do this, then just go the jewel shoe. Okay, maybe not go the Joel Schumacher route, but go the Adam West route. Like, literally. A okay, you want to be this cartoony? Be honest with it. That's the problem. If you try and go about this without admitting to yourself you're a little silly, you've got issues. Wait, we're only we're only 12 minutes away from the end? Yeah. And we I haven't even got... After, after 30 minutes, the movie suddenly picks up the pace uh, for some reason. Um... Okay. 
found you fake. No, that's not yeah. worth it. <laughs> I found you fake. I can't do it. Really? I'm sorry. You're trying to pull the freak line. That's not the best time to, you know, propose this kind of argument. Guys, aren't you so excited? Don't, this don't. is the, the fight that the movie has built up to all then, this time. And so now she reveals that it was her that she ordered to get flushed down. So now it's vengeance. It's personal, mate. I'm it's surprised. Personal. I'm surprised they didn't make that joke. Well, yeah, but, but yeah, that, that's probably the best thing to do a Bobsy reference. <laughs> that's so stupid plastic. <laughs> And she's still oh, just fine, though. Um, do they, have they established that that cream that they put on your skin, you keep putting it on, it makes your skin strong? Yeah. No, not Remember, yet. The Merovingian, the Merovingian tried to slap her and it didn't work. But she hasn't actually also, told us. Also, everyone looks so shiny in this movie, I have to say. It's CG. like some heroes. This is CGI. <laughs> also, is there really the time for a vocal song? No. Oh, wait, here it is. Yeah, 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 she just said that. So apparently, the reason, yeah. So if you put it on enough, you can't feel a thing. Now you're probably wondering, well, why has everyone else's skin been getting messed up? Listen to because... this. Because no, they actually try to explain it. At some point. No, Joe, we went. Oh wait, past they that. already did. Any mean or no? So basically, apparently, putting the cream makes your skin fine enough. However, if you don't put it on consistently, then your skin will be <laughs> rendered asunder. Now, I know what you're probably thinking. Why isn't she licensing this to the military or something? Because she's stupid. Like, seriously. So, and what? So, you're telling me that, so apparently she's the only one who puts on her product enough to get the fine skin. Whereas everyone else who uses it doesn't Didn't use it enough. It occur to you that it could okay, happen also to any other. Also, this scene is poorly edited. It's like it's like it's like she stops herself before she hits it. You could Ow. have joined me. We could have ruled the world together. Blah blah blah. Um. Why? What? what? You didn't want to make another cap over. home? Just game over. Overtime. What? So now you decided to stop with the Kaplan, and now you're doing s basketball puns? Because remember, she used to play basket. <laughs> uh, you know, it made more sense when Dennis Rodman did those jokes. Also, yeah. R remember when she just said sh your skin's like pure marble? Well, watch this. Uh, yeah, so much for so much for that. Yeah. They're literally slapping each other. Here we go. Okay, how much of a cut are you to have thrown yourself out a window like that? Also, grab onto the whip! Let she see for what she looks like, and she cannot tolerate this, I guess, and... Oh bye my bye. god, that, that, yeah. that, that, that looks horrible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, that clearly Red. looks like... That's a mannequin. Yeah, yeah, mannequin, yeah. Guys, aren't you so fulfilled by this conf conflict resolution? I just, I just want the movie to end. It's, it's almost really over, Pedro. Don't worry. Don't worry. Yeah, There's yeah. some light at don't the end of this fucking tunnel. Oh, yes, there is. You'll see what he means by that, folks. No. Yep. This somehow absolves you completely. Yes, all she has to do is just get back to the prison cell. Uh, okay, thanks for showing me that movie. Just oh, so now you choose to have the extra orchestra play. Like, did you even remember you had an orchestra? Jesus. Peter, what is wrong with you? Catwoman topples Hadar Empire, and now Catwoman is a superhero. Hooray. Uh, 
Oh yeah, and now she has a girlfriend. I mean, a boyfriend. Yeah. I'm surprised <laughs> that the gay character did not get one. Actually, was the gay character her boyfriend in that scene? Um, actually, no. No, 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 I remember. The gay character is used for like two scenes and they're both really stereotypical. Um, okay. And now she has to go underground? Supposedly, from what I can see, we were trying to hint at a proper crossover with Batman with this final scene. Yeah. But let me just say one word. Bullshit. Not to mention, again, this is like the ending of Batman Returns where her existence is ambiguous, except there she and kind even, of was hinted to die. Even if that were the case, I've got three other words. Poor box office. Yeah. And this another... movie was a plop, plop spectacularly. Terrible music uh, and terrible CGI. What a perfect way to end the movie. Yeah. But guys, it's time for one final female empowering scene as she walks towards the moonlight. Ah, uh, hideous. <laughs> and there's no post credit scene, so... Thank... Let's just stick with the final thoughts. Uh, can I start, please? Go on! Uh, I want to share a trivia with you before I actually start the, the final thoughts. Uh, in 2009, I think, when this movie was actually... There was an occasion where this movie was broadcast on television. Uh, my father, since he never saw it, decided to see it. He has relatively little knowledge of the comic book superheroes. Uh, he pulled me apart at some point. He's like, uh, Theo, is this about that character from the Marvel Universe? <laughs> Apparently, he got so confused that he confused the character with Black Cat, the supporting character of Spider-Man. To be fair, a lot of people <laughs> do, admittedly, since they tend to be similar. You know, they're sort of the anti-heroes, the thieves, the ones who the main hero But anyway, loves. as for me, this movie is awful. And even then, there's a very little things that actually make you enjoy it, even ironically. Oh, but I will say that maybe if, if you were drunk and with friends, this will probably be a good candidate. But regardless, just avoid it. It's a terrible project. We should have never exist in the first place. Just forget about it. You Next. know, it's funny you mention that, actually. This gives you the idea. What if Halle Berry will be chosen to play Black Cat in the MCU? It would... That wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, in fact, actually, it's a good segue, Jova, because I even talk about it. Halle Berry is, uh, as you can see, has a different ethnicity. So this is one actually one of the first cases of uh, uh, washing in, this, in terms of having the, uh, the hero identity or the different ethnicity. But the, problem, the, thing, the surprising thing is that all the other problems of the movie eclipse this aspect completely. Especially considering the character is not even Selena Kyle. So you don't even get even to think about it. That's yeah. that's the magic of this movie in a nutshell. But next, I won't forget about it as soon as possible. Zero is into the cat expert. How about you go next? My final thoughts are going to be the shortest, so uh, here meow. It is. Let me guess. Let the me guess. Cats... Meow. This was a meowsy movie, and oh. even the cats couldn't make it enjoyable. <laughs> wow, you know that's meowsy bad. Meowsy movie. Meow. Story. Meowsy that's... movie. Guys. Fun fact: I think one of the critic reviews literally opened with me ouch. <laughs> good, good critic. I want to I, I, I continue, guys. I'm gonna check if Rotten Tomatoes actually has some pounds in the review score. Can I go next? Sure. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, this is just a really crap movie. Even if you, even if you don't read the comic books like me, yeah. I mean, I can't think of one aspect that's good. Um... Seriously, can you guys name one? I'd say Halle Berry in and of itself, but even still, that has to do more with something that happened after this movie was made, which we will be actually looking yeah, at. In, more, in, case, in case you need... Need... But as for the actual movie itself, it's mm -hmm. not really, is it? And we'll get to that video after we're done with the final in, in, movie, in, anyway. in case you need uh, uh, a reminder, the Rotten Tomatoes has a score of 9%. <laughs> mm. Damn. The Go general ahead, consensus. No, I'll, the I'll pounds, read it later. But yeah, I'm... Um... That 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 that's been done. I've done everything. I said everything. I wanted to say it's just a crap movie. Yeah. The critical consensus was Halle Berry is the lone bright spot. I agree, but even she can't save this laughable action thriller. Mm -hmm. I wish it was more laughable than. But 
Yeah, Don't go worry, Vajon. That's, that's what's, you next, what's is coming really afterwards funny. is actually funny. Yeah. Anyway, mm -hmm. this movie is mostly just boring to me. Like, like it's not even fun to make fun of. It's just boring. Like, seriously. It's 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 a movie that's not even trying. Like, uh, okay, let's have Barry, Barry on in a skimpy outfit, and there you go. That will that somehow makes the movie, and there you go. Uh huh. Anyway, just... Job, I guess uh, you need to close us off. Huh? Oh God, the song. Okay, now I was thankfully spared the pain of seeing this movie back in its prime because I had even. I'd seen Batman 1989. I don't think I saw Returns quite yet. All the same, though, I'd seen this movie every now and then. I always wondered, wait, what's a Catwoman doing here? Well, years later, I found out that this movie is really terrible. Like, oh, God. Okay, adaptation-wise, it fails. It can't even seem to decide whether or not it wants to take cues from Batman Returns or it just wants to be its own thing. And this is some of the worst directing I've seen in a movie. Like, again, hey, you have a director who can't speak English where everyone is speaking English in the film. You think maybe there might be just some problem here? Like, hey, you know what often... Hey, you know what that's like? A game's localization, which tends to be dodgy because of stuff like that. Ugh, it's mm -hmm. just this movie, it sucks. It's miserable, and it weighs Halle Berry... The story makes no sense, and the camera work, that camera work, that is even worse than Battlefield Earth, a movie that spends most of its time in Dutch Angle territory. And the movie reminds you that it has an even lower score on Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong, mm. Battlefield Earth is still a worse movie, but this has some of the, this is worse camera work and editing. And the villain is lousy, like seriously. Even the worst of uh, bad superhero films at least get an entertaining enough villain, but Sharon Stone don't even really get to play the villain even though they make it so blatantly obvious she's the villain. And yeah, the characters are some of the dumbest I've ever seen before. And yes, for a movie that's supposed to be all about female empowerment, this just feels like sexism. And I'm not even titillated by it. Yeah. So we have a movie trying to be edgy. It fails at being edgy. What, Congratulations. What does it, what? <laughs> now you're probably wondering, what does this movie succeed at all? Well, it's trying to do edgy at all, just leave it. This movie <laughs> succeeded in one thing, though. It gave us Halle Berry's Razzie Award speech. In case you have one of the two people who don't know, the Razzie are essentially the polar opposite of the Oscars. Essentially, awards given to the worst. Uh, things ever happening in the in the world of movies. Now, most often an actor does not always go up to receive their Razzie because, Obviously. well, it's a Razzie. However, there are some ballsy enough to take their Razzies. In fact, even Sandra Bullock got her own Razzie, which was before she got her own I gotta Oscar. give props to people who will do that, though. And that is why, folks, like with, um, like with Ghost Dad, we're gonna commentate on something to revive your faith in humanity. <laughs> Halle Berry accepting her Razzie Award speech. Is everyone on oh, the video? Yeah. Yes. I am. And let us begin in three, two, one, click. Halle Berry mm -hmm. for Catwoman. So oh, worst so actress of 2000. No, really, I'm, I'm late for work. I'm sorry. I shouldn't even. You should come. Oh yes, of course they use me. that seed. Catnip. Who would have been able to make that uh, scene work? Ladies and gentlemen. Okay, almost there. I gotta wonder. Can any of you think of an actor who could have made the catnip scene work? No. Okay. Not even no, no, no. There you go. She won both an Oscar and a Razzie in the same year. <laughs> she even got the Oscar with her. Here. Yeah. I think she's high right now. Oh, just okay. watch, Yori, because this, she's going to get to do the rare thing an actor gets to do and vent. Can't believe it. Uh, it's okay. Okay, Holly. 
she was in Catwoman to you. She's Happy Tail. Come on, she won the, she won both a Razzie and an Oscar in the same year. How many actors can say that? Also, Tio, <laughs> would you be okay if you had to do what she did in that movie? Mm, no, I guess. This award validates my pain. Yes, it does. Again, she's a champ. Like she oh takes God. this reward like a champ. Here. So, do you want to thank, thank Harvey Weinstein because of this? Uh... Thank you so much. Yes, that's what you know. <laughs> I never in my life thought I would be a here. <laughs> <laughs> Winning a Razzie! Yay! Hey, it's not like I ever to... aspired to be. <laughs> Aww. But thank you. Um, oh gosh. And, she just um, needs a no, hug. I don't have to give this back. It's got my name on it. Yes, I have my Oscar. You can't take it away from me. <laughs> I bet somewhere Sandra Bullock was watching you know, this and seething at the time since she didn't have her Oscar. I've got so yeah, many people so. to thank because. Oh god. And yes, he's going to quote unquote bank everyone involved in the movie. This is a shame so, too, because um, Sandra's way when the Oscar was making such a bad me, movie. You know, go through this. Um, first of all, I want to thank okay. Warner Brothers. <laughs> thank you yeah, for putting yeah, me obviously. in a piece of shit god awful movie. <laughs> you know, that's the closest anyone's gotten to calling out Warner Brothers publicly for it. So, by all means, go ahead. You know, it was just what my career needed. You know. <laughs> I was at the top, and then right. plummeted me to the bottom. Love it. Well, she hey, she, well, hey, she did end up going from the bottom to um, one of the top in one of the greatest reviews I movies with X Men Two. This Vincent, is why participation Vincent, awards are. She's my manager. Vincent, yeah. Yeah, she's thanking her manager. Yeah. After which she will be promptly say, fired. Like this guy loves me. He loves me so much. Her agent. Um, he loves me so much. That he tells me that I'm the greatest actress there ever was. He loves me so much that he convinces me to do projects even when he knows they're shit. <laughs> and for that, I'm firing you. Yeah, but, that, so. but that's how much he loves I me. That's how much he really loves me. You know, I have to wonder. No, I think he's she's improvising. I, I have to wonder. If, if I no, I meant that the guy read the script. Um, <laughs> Oh. Maybe it depends. The, the agent movie. normally just gets yeah. the actor in place. Just counting the zeros behind the one really isn't enough. <laughs> okay, if this Thank is how she you. regards her agent for Catwoman, how do you think Gary oh. Oldman regards his agent for, well, everything? Wait, Lord, Kamala, and lost his face in the same year. Who obviously don't give a shit, they're not here tonight, but love you guys, love you. Um... I want to thank the writers, all 20 of them. 20 writers. <laughs> 20 thank writers. You for thinking this was a good like idea. It. Obviously it wasn't, but I appreciate was the thought. You thought it was, you tried. Hey, thank pressure. you. Yeah. Um, I want to thank the cast. You know, it's really important. I thought she was going to say, I want to thank the cast. Like, I think you need saying. a lot of bad actors around you. Uh, <laughs> so I want to thank all of them Oops. for being bad right along with me. One of them is here, Alex Borstein. Come on, Alex. Yes. <laughs> now let's see Alex yeah. Morrison actually get to be funny outside the yeah. movie. Yeah, she's actually, this is actually a routine she, uh, she did you know uh, back in the late yeah. 90s when she was Miss Swan oh in that TV. Well, she's really fun in the movie. Yeah. <laughs> Happiest moment of her life. But one of the I like to imagine how he very planned. <laughs> well, maybe not entirely oh, planned it, but <laughs> planned a good deal of this. One of the best Reaper. things about Catwoman was that I got to make some really wonderful lifelong friendships in this lady. True, woman. getting to be friends with Alex Bornstein. You know <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh God! You know. I want to thank you. You know, for I don't think we. Oh wait, we did see her in a comedy. And telling me that I was doing a great job, that I was the best Catwoman you ever saw. I want to thank you for lying straight to well, me. Well, you know, honestly, I get thank the feeling you. how he no, needed the mental like support during the filming of that movie. Love that. Yeah. I love that. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, at least she lied to her face. Now beat it. Aww. Beat it. I also want to yeah. thank our director, Pitoff. Oh, goody. You know that one name, French guy? Thank you very much. It was a joy <laughs> to come to work every day and work with him, really. I mean, I didn't know what the hell he was saying, but 
again. How did nobody? That explains a lot. You have to wonder. Did, no, did anyone bring up how silly this is that they couldn't understand what their director was saying? We didn't even have a proper interpreter. You also rush out and get an English-speaking director. Could change your life too. Oh yeah, it changed her life for sure. <laughs> she certainly appreciated Storm no more as a character. Tell you why I'm here tonight. Even with really. X-Men Free. Well, X-Men Free exactly was ironically sure, really. where Storm so actually got to be a co-leader um, for once. Because when I was a kid, my mother told me good. Yeah. that if you could not and be a you good give loser, us the juggernaut. then there's no way you could be a good winner. Which? If yeah. you weren't able to take criticism, then you were not worthy of getting praise. Yeah, consider this also a PSA so, for anyone else who gets razzy. I've my career of acting, and I started off in beauty pageants. It's probably another good reason why I'm here tonight. <laughs> Get. Um, started off in beauty pageants, and I won the first three in a row. Just won them. I can I believe that. I got to the Miss USA pageant, and there I was on the stage with the first runner-up. And uh, I was there, and she was there, and one of us would win. And she was this buxom, blonde, blue-eyed Texan. And I looked at her Ugh. and I thought, oh god, I'm probably going to lose. That, yeah. Sure enough, they called the winner. It wasn't me, it was her. I looked at her, and all I could hear was my mother's voice in my head. And I thought, okay, here's my chance. But all I wanted to do was fucking slap the shit out of her. <laughs> 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 so, yeah. as you can imagine, I want to fucking slap the shit out of these razzy people that brought me here tonight. <laughs> now I have to wonder how much of this is her actually joking and how much of this is her inventing. And also how many shots did she have before the proceedings? Well, the no, sure, 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 sure. Right. Sure. 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 Uh, bottom, bottom line, as you can see, at least she took well the situation. So, well, guess, yeah. yeah, that's for that's all for this piece of garbage. That was yeah. Catwoman, folks. Tune in for hopefully the next and better Halle Berry installment we do. See ya. Mm -hmm. See ya. Yeah.